Right. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, thanks for coming. Uh, and welcome to Postcards from Dumb World. Exactly how you do. <laughs> That's a very good question. I was hoping you could tell me. Um, well, we're starting the rehearsal process for uh, a piece that we're doing in conjunction with Wexford Festival Opera and Opera Fringe. <laughs> well, my name is John McElduff. Um, I've been writing the words of the show with Brian, um, and I'll be directing the show whenever, at every stage as we go on up towards the, uh, the premiere performance in, in Wexford. Dumb World is, or Dumb World the Opera, is a, uh, how do you explain it? It's a collection of little stories. It's a world, it's a, um, it's a feeling, it's a, it's a color, you know, it's um, the, the opera doesn't have one single narrative leading it through. It's a number of different little stories, and it's very much the extension of what Brian's already doing with um, his ensemble, working on the kind of freedom and improvisation that, um, that they've been doing for years and years, and taking new little stories uh, that create this little world that is dumb world. In this particular piece, the the band will actually be will kind of have an equal footing with the opera singers. So we'll all be on the stage together, and the band will be costumed and will be part of the people in the world, if you like. And the, actually, the content of the the piece is is um, is very close to my heart, and it's the thing we've been sort of thinking about and writing about. You know, not actually writing music, but writing words about. You know, for a long time. We've collected lots and lots of stories, some of them true, some of them not true, some of them almost like little modern fairy tales, each one of them. Peter loved Lily because she had a smell. <sighs> a smell that hit the bottom of his belly, like a dog. <laughs> Working in a field, a smell that would gallop round the classroom and make long division impossible. Rather than working with a sort of a classic sort of opera librettist, I, I thought it actually would be much more interesting to work with um, a filmmaker, you know, someone who starts from the visual point of view rather than the words. Because often when you do opera stuff, <coughs> you know, you get handed the libretto, which is the words, and then you get, you know, you go and set that libretto as you fit. <laughs> We did a, a DVD that was called the, um, the Mysterious Art of Dancing, which was seven or eight of pieces of brand's music that I made um, films for. Um, and that was a great process. I mean, it was a long process because there were a lot of films to be made. And, uh, and in many ways, that was the kind of beginning of, uh, of us thinking about creating this show that would be Dumb World. I'm really excited about it, actually, you know, because I think um, I mean, we've been playing, playing together as a band for quite a while, and we've been we've been doing a lot of sort of festivals and jazz festivals, and so and that's great, you know. And the band <coughs> always um, kind of moved into quite a lot of theatre sort of stuff as we, as part of our kind of music performance. So it feels like it feels to me it's the next logical step. I don't think we could actually have continued really just as a band, you know, I think we now need to kind of make this sort of, uh, you know, sort of step over into the world that is a full-on theatre production. Yeah. 